What's up guys? I wanted to take some time in this video to talk about something that is a growing problem in many parts of the country and I really think that it is going to go beyond what we traditionally see as uh, liberal areas where crime goes unpunished and things like that. And If you've read the title of this video, you know what that is. I really think that we need to be paying much more attention to this push to criminalize self-defense. Uh, now, I know that most of you guys, if you've been paying attention to some of the news lately, there have been stories just all over the news about people that have taken action to protect themselves or others that have then been arrested and prosecuted for doing so. Uh, you know, I think it, it is an absolute tragedy that while people that go down uh, and burn cities and kill people literally in many cases are allowed to get away with things while those that try to protect themselves are the ones that end up being prosecuted uh, of course we recently had in the news the story about the 7-eleven clerks that had been robbed multiple times by the same individual uh, we see the video you know that individual was there again and, of course, you know, when the clerks tried to stop him, when they told him to stop or whatever, he pulled a weapon, looked like a knife or something, not real sure, and threatened them, and they ended up beating him. And, of course, in traditional fashion in this day and age, uh, the clerks were the ones that got the police investigation against them. However, the good news is the local DA, I guess probably because it was all over social media and everything else, decided that he was not going to pursue charges against those store clerks. And that's a good thing. The reality is, though, he shouldn't, they shouldn't have even been considered in the first place. Okay, We see this problem where people that are through no fault of their own who are being victimized by others are not being victimized once, but being victimized twice You know, by the system, as well as the criminals that are attacking them. You know, and I really don't see much difference in many cases as far as what they're doing. You know, we all remember the Kyle Rittenhouse case. Now, I know that there's going to be some that's going to be a little bit controversial on this. The Kyle Rittenhouse case, okay, there are people that will argue, well, he shouldn't have been out there. Okay, I will agree with that argument. The problem is the police were not there doing that job. Someone needed to be in there to try to protect that community from these riders. The police were not doing it at that time. It was the citizens, the people of that community that were going out and they were protecting their own homes, their own businesses and things like that. We see this many times over. OK, the police were not there. The citizens were. And look at what the end results were. OK, even with the law enforcement, the reality on that, you have good cops and you have bad cops. And we have seen in many cases where good cops have been charged. They are, you know, yes, there are some cases where it was obvious that it was police abuse or whatever. Those guys need to be charged. But at the same time, there's cases where it is clear that the police were in the right, that they were protecting themselves, they were protecting someone else, and they ended up being on the wrong side of the law. They ended up getting charged or whatever. Their careers destroyed in many cases. Okay, That is the unfortunate reality of the world that we live in today. I wrote an article uh, talking about some of these issues over on my website. I'll leave a link down below this video if you guys want to go check it out. But as I mentioned, you know, this is something that we need to be paying attention to and we need to be pushing back against. Okay, It is not right that someone has to choose between becoming the victim of a crime or spending the rest of their life in jail for protecting themselves from a crime. There's no reason that someone should have to make that choice. Okay, Either way, you're a victim, period. If someone attacks you and you protect yourself and you go to jail, you're still the victim. You're not a victim just once. You're a victim twice. You're a victim by, from the criminal, and then you're a victim by a corrupt system that in too many ways and in too many cases is pandering to the criminals while at the same time punishing the innocent. Okay, we're seeing this in these big cities and it's spreading into other communities as well. But guys, that's just my thoughts. I think that we need to do more to push back and expand our rights of self-defense and self-protection. 
Okay, just like I'd mentioned, people should not be forced to decide between protecting themselves and their families and spending the rest of their lives in jail. Okay, that is just unacceptable. Contact your representatives. Contact everyone you know around you. Get your neighbors, your friends involved, and have them to contact them with you. Start petitions. Do everything that you can do. Okay, this stuff, all of this craziness that we're seeing. It's not going to get any better unless we do something about it. Okay, people need to push back. People need to protect themselves. They need to protect their homes. They need to protect their businesses. If law enforcement's not going to do it, then we need to do it ourselves. And then at the same time, we do not need these police that are going to go after the intended victims that stood up for themselves. We've seen the same thing down in that you know unfortunate tragedy in Uvalde, the school shooting. We had a case where people that were going there to try to get their kids out ended up getting arrested by the very people that refused to go in and stop the carnage. That's the reality. Think about that. But guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comments below. Check out the links down in the description. Like I said, I will put a link to the article on my website down there. Let me hear from you because I'd really like to know your thoughts on this. And I will want to know in particularly, because I know that there are members of law enforcement that watch my channel. I want to hear from you guys. Okay. If you're watching this channel, there's a reason. And I'm sure that many of you support what I just said. Let's hear from you guys. Okay. Be that good guy. Be that good guy with a badge that stands up for people's rights. Okay. Be that one that everybody remembers, no matter what that system does, because there again, man, you took the oath to that Constitution, and we need you guys to be the first line of defense, okay? You're the ones that need to step up. You're the ones that need to say, no, I am not charging that person for protecting themselves. That needs to be you. Yeah, you'll catch flack, but guess what? If you chose to put that badge on, that's what you needed to do. That's what you chose to do. But guys, let me hear from you. Check out the links down in the description. Visit my website at boomsticktactical.com. Share the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.